Have Republicans abandoned the free market? I'm Emma Camp here at the 2024 Republican National Convention in Milwaukee. So our first question is, do you support free markets? Oh, of course. I certainly do, 100%. Yes, we're for free markets. Yes, I do. Absolutely. Trump has proposed 10% tariffs on all imports. Do you support that? Yes. Absolutely. I support it. That's not a free market policy, but the thing is that we're competing against markets that aren't free. Well, good question. I like that. Um, listen, not necessarily in all, uh, all imports, no, um, but I do tend to agree with his policy as far as doing to others what they do to us and what they've been doing to us for so long. Yes, I support a tariff from outside countries that hurt our own manufacturing and industries here in the United States. I do believe in our executive branch and our federal government also protecting um, the assets and the needs of the American people. So the Teamsters president spoke yesterday and he said that companies like Amazon, Uber, Lyft and Walmart don't take responsibility for the workers they employ. Under our current system, massive companies like Amazon, Uber, Lyft, and Walmart take zero responsibilities for the workers they employ. These companies offer no real health insurance, no retirement benefits, no paid leave, relying on underfunded public assistance. We must put workers first. Do you guys support that? Um, I know it's controversial that he spoke, and I'm happy that he did. Um, because the Republican Party has now become the party of the workers, where before the Democrats were the party of the workers, but the Democrats have left the workers behind because they're pushing a socialist agenda. Having the Teamsters Union president come speak at the Republican National Convention, which has never happened on history before, shows that the team is willing to open doors and talk to all different walks of life. So organized labor has not normally been a friend of the Republican Party, but the idea that we're at least having a conversation moves us forward. It's, it's a new era that we are seeing. Never in this entire 35, 36 years that I'm being active in this politics that I've seen, labor unions were given a platform on the RNC convention or anywhere. The latest major development has been Donald Trump's selection of Ohio Senator J.D. Vance as his running mate. Vance has been openly hostile to libertarians. He suggested that the right must seize the administrative state and ignore court rulings. He's partnered with Elizabeth Warren on banking regulations. And he's praised Biden's FTC chair and antitrust crusader Lena Khan as he's called for breaking up Google. He has worked with Elizabeth Warren to try to cap banking executive salaries, and he supported carve-outs uh, for small banks. Do you support that? I'm not going to hold it against him that he spoke to Elizabeth Warren, because when you're in politics, you know, you try to reach out. I think smaller banks should definitely have uh, more of an advantage against, you know, the companies that really uh, exert a lot of control over the rest of our lives. I think um, there's certainly reason to believe that whether it's telecommunications or banks that more competition is better if you really want a free market but that might mean that you have to cap the current activities of the unfair advantages that these companies have. JD Vance has also supported breaking up Google. Do you support that? Well yeah that's what the biggest monopoly and we're against monopolies. We've always been against it. We support the small businesses. That's what built America and that's what's going to make America strong and the government is trying to push them out. I don't think it's a bad idea to try and create more competition, but I also don't, I think it's a little late now. I would have to see his reasons why, but no, not necessarily. I mean, again, I believe in a free market, um, capitalistic society. Um, I, I don't tend to really agree that you're ever too big to fail. Um, so no, I do not support that. It's not just Google that they're trying to break up. They're trying to break up all of these large uh, entities that are basically stealing the market from the, the, the independent type worker. J.D. Vance has also supported blocking a Japanese company from acquiring U.S. steel. Do you support that? I support as much domestic development and production of American products as possible. And if that means that we need to block out other competitors from foreign countries in order to make America great again, then I support that. We really should have a U.S. based dominant competitor. Unless, again, it's affecting our national security, the federal government should not be getting involved in what companies can be acquired by who. J.D. Vance has also supported Lena Khan, uh, Biden's FTC chair, for blocking mergers of companies like the prospective merger between Kroger and Albertsons. Do you support that? I support walking, uh, working with people across the aisle and working with people that may have different perspectives. What we're talking about are all these large corporations becoming larger and larger and larger corporations 
and becoming, uh, monopolies. and becoming monopolies and putting the small businesses out. That's not the American way. That's not capitalism. That's not what this country was built on. And we don't want large corporate entities that are controlled by the government and, and taking away any choices from the American public, and that's what they're wanting to do. They're, they're building socialism within this country right now. And until we get Trump in office and get this to stop, we're going to be a socialist country in five, ten years because that's been Biden's plan all along. It's socialism when the government blocks two grocery stores from merging? Okay. It's socialism when they're building large corporations that are eventually going to be controlled and run by the government. So you support free markets? I do support free markets. So you would still say you support free markets? I still support free market, yes. We support maintaining the middle class in America, maintaining capitalism, maintaining the fundamentals and the values that built this country 200 years ago. So I have been very fortunate to work and prosper in the free market. So I am in the main a, a, a supporter of free markets. Thank you for asking. Okay.